it's it's uh, it's good. Yeah, you're unclean. Okay, okay, okay. Alexandre Andrea. All right, I'll say all that. Well, welcome to this edition of uh, Stop the Presses. For the first time, we have a guest coming in. He's an expert on oil and gas, uh, the economics of it, and uh, he's uh, in Watford City Monday night and in Bismarck Tuesday night talking to people uh, in the in the oil patch about what he thinks is in his group think about what will happen to oil prices. Uh, Alexander, um, please introduce yourself and tell uh, tell everybody uh, who you are and, and who you're with and where you're from. Yeah, I'm a French equity analyst based in uh, Paris. I'm doing uh, oil and gas analysis for the last 10 years as an uh, head of, uh, of these sectors. And we have been uh, lucky so far on the production on the shale oil area because we have been here for the last four years and um, we had expected a collapse on oil prices at 15, 2015, for, uh, four years ago. Uh, and we try to follow all what's going on uh, right now. Yeah, so in 2012, you were like one of the very few groups of, of economics uh, experts who were predicting oil would drop below $50 a barrel. Everybody said you were crazy, right? Yeah, I remember we had a lot of meetings in, uh, in Wall Street and people say, what are you see, seeing that the people do not see? And we, we said that the shell oil production was higher than what the market expected. It was up one million barrel per day every year. And at, what ta at, at one time, it will have an impact on the market. And that collapse was 50, because we believe that f below $50 a barrel, the shell oil industry is no longer, no longer working. But today, it's quite different. It's probably much lower than that. And it become more difficult to do prediction because of the Chinese uh, worries that we have today. And people are, you know, I don't say people are suffering here, but the, the market is certainly suffering. The oil, oil production is definitely down. But you have, you have optimistic news. Yeah, because everybody is suffering. So we are looking who is the first, who will be the first one. Uh, we believe that the geopolitics risk premium increase actually every day. We we'll see what's happening in Venezuela in the coming weeks. Uh, Saudi Arabia, CDS, so the, the, the insurance for the debt is close to uh, Portugal uh, one. Uh, Russia has a limited uh, potential on uh, production and demand should be uh, slightly revised up again with the $30 a barrel. So there are a lot of projects which will no longer work below $40 a barrel, so there will be less uh, production and less production mean uh, market that will we balance, but today we are in the speculation mode, so it can last a couple of weeks. I'm not sure a couple of months. So yeah, I'm optimistic. Not on a one hundred dollars bar, but maybe a sixty in the long term. Right. So you're saying people around here need to just start focusing on getting oil to sixty and keeping it there and, and living at that level. I believe that's a conservative target for the future because a lot of players maybe will not be able to do that outside the uh, US. So if people can get it here. That we'd be lucky in the next three to four years. Yeah. And a lot of people talk about a boom followed by a bust. Are we in a bust? Is the Bakken, is the oil patch in North Dakota, is it in a bust? Um, I don't know because so far, I, for a bust, I believe that we could see much more damage than what it is today. Maybe it just started right now, but uh, I'm not sure you, you, we still see a bust here because there are still a lot of activity in pipelines. But I remember at, time, at the time that we said that uh, below $15 uh, uh, a barrel, they will stop the production. And today, we are at that level in the area. So we'll see what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. OK, so you've been coming down here for four years, a few days at a time, periodically, several yeah. times a year. What are your thoughts of Williston? We are, well, as a French guy of 30 years old, we are very excited to, to be there because uh, there is a lot of dynamism, uh, the, the growth is still here. Uh, here. Uh, the people are very ambitious, uh, moving forward, which is quite uh, actually, uh, and uh, it's hard to say that different from uh, Europe and, uh, and France. We can see that uh, uh, the city is, uh, is growing. And uh, actually one of my friends, uh, which like me believe that uh, the shell oil producer will gain the market share in the future, he bet on that through the real estate. So actually, he's doing real estate in North Dakota, and I'm on the board of that to help him to say who, where I believe that the best place are regarding the brick even uh, in the area, and at what time it's risky, at what time is a good time to enter in the market. Just, that's just prediction. So, but we are uh, optimistic in the future.
Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming by, Alex. And uh, if anyone wants to check out um, uh, Alex's presentation tonight in Watford City, what time and place is that? Uh, Six thirty. Six thirty in Watford City. What do you know? What the location is? I don't remember. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's not too many locations in Watford City, and he'll be in Bismarck tomorrow. And I understand he'll be back in April. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, we'll have some good oil prices to report on then, because he's always been a pessimist, but now he's suddenly an optimist seeing oil on the way back up. Uh, signing off, I'm Matt Hickman, and you are... Alex Andrea. All right, you stay classy, Williston. <laughs>